Lydia Dedal, Fight Connect TV, and I am backstage at MTK Fight Night Belfast in the Ulster Hall with the victorious new Irish champion, yeah. Gary Cully. <laughs> well, short work, easy work. No, not easy. Um, there was 12 hard weeks in, in the gym that led up to that, but um, yeah, on the night, it ended early. Yeah. Were you expecting to be over so quick? Um, like I said, we prepared for 10 hard rounds. We planned to break Joe down and stop him maybe seven or eight, but um, I think he was saying in the lead up this week all the time how much power he had, and I think he underestimated mine, mm -hmm. and that may be his downfall. Um, so I had some, I had a a little thought in my head all week that if I catch him early, his legs will buckle and he will go. And yeah, I've said it to a couple of people, and, and that's what happened. How much does uh, visualization play in your preparation massive to your fight? Massive amount. I've had this belt since three months ago, you know. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I, I flow flotation pods a lot as well, and uh, yeah, they, they help me a lot as well. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's uh, I've been here before. I seen the changing rooms. I I smelt the vaseline on, on my face before we went to the ring. Everything, so um, it was nothing new to me. When you were leaving the ring, uh, just after you had done your uh, TV interview, um, a member of your team was talking to someone. I overheard them. They said, "This is the Gary Cody that we've been telling you is on the way." Mm. Um, what does that? How does that make you feel? Yeah, um, excited. Um, it's a great privilege that everybody everybody's starting to look. I, I put so much hard work in, into what I do, so it's nice when people when people realise and and start to take note. So yeah, I'm very excited. Sometimes we see when a, a new young fighter, fresh onto the scene, is getting bigged up by media, by team, by opponents. Mm. Um, sometimes there can be a bit of pressure on them to live up to that. Do you ever feel that pressure, or you know, does it even come into your 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 mindset? I suppose in the lead up to fights. Yeah, well, I, I put um, I have big expectations of myself as well, and I suppose I do feel a bit of pressure. But at the end of the day, I know that if, if I work hard and, and I just I just perform on the night, that no matter who I'm in with, it, it, I don't think it matters. So yeah, no. Once I prepare and work hard day in day out in the gym, um, no. Absolutely. The last time um, I missed you when I was, I was out with, at your gym last week, but yeah, you were, yeah, I think yeah, you were in college, that's right, yeah. studying away. Um, but I the past college now as well. Oh, no, that, yeah, pass? Monday and Tuesday had exams, I got through them as well. So well I'm done, good. well done. Can I ask what you're studying? PT, personal training. Oh, no yeah, yeah, yeah. So exactly. qualified and got the belt. So great week for me yeah. yeah congratulations that's that's excellent but the last time that i was there, i think it was like a year and a half ago um and i was doing a little bit again talking to you guys i was interviewing yourself pete or uh, pete and and luke yes. and um i was doing a little bit of the the fight camp and i was like really fascinated by the way that pete was working with you guys but the one thing that struck me was after everyone was finished training you were the only one that was left and you waited until pete was finished and you brought him over and you were like breaking down something, mm -hmm. something that he was doing in training, you wanted to break it down more and yeah. you were getting the technical aspect of it. Um, is that an everyday occurrence for you? Are you someone that really just gets obsessed with, with it and, and, and you know, spends that extra time? Yeah, like I, I, I am a bit of a perfectionist and uh, like I said, I put great expectation on myself and I think how technically, technically good I am separates me from everybody else. So I like to, if I feel like I'm doing something wrong or something, uh, half an inch off I'd like to correct it and who better could I ask to, to correct it than Pete Taylor you know what I mean I'm in, I'm in good hands with Pete so um, I have great trust in him and he believes in me I believe in myself and I have great belief in Pete as well as a coach so yeah, the world is our oyster. Absolutely. And before I let you go, you were doing an interview there with Andy from IFL, um, and you spoke about your mum. Um, she beat breast cancer this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, last year, there's myself, my brother, and my little sister. She's nine at home with my ma. And um, last year, obviously, just after I got injured, she got um, diagnosed with breast cancer as well. So it was a tough year for us. And um, yeah, she was battling, but thankfully, she, she beat that at the end of last year. We had a fresh start then going into this year, so this is a great start of the year for us. Was there anything that you learned? Obviously, you were saying a tough year with your hands, with your mum. What was the one thing that you learned coming out of that year? Yeah, just just sticking with it. And um, there was a lot of times where I could have went off, and I was injured at the time as well. So not that I didn't have to be in the gym, but there was a reason for me not to be there. Then my mum got sick, so I could have easily been out and acting the bollocks and fucking drinking and this and that, but I stuck with it. and. I have a vision in my head and I won't stop till I get there. Brilliant. Well, on that note, congratulations. I look forward to doing another interview when your world title comes in. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, great performance. Brilliant. I'm glad I, it'll be one of those moments where we look back in a couple of years yeah, and say, remember the yeah. night Gary Cully won that Irish title? Yeah, uh, so thank you very much for taking the time. Appreciate it. Lydia, thank you. Uh, Gary Cully for Fight Connect TV.